Hey guys, Rocco Sourdough Chef. Hope you're having a great day, beautiful weather. We've got a little bit of a roast here, beef roast. Uh, we're gonna do a play on uh, vitello tonnato, vitello being a veal, tonnato being a tuna uh, mayonnaise sauce that goes on the veal. So we're just using beef, beef roast, which we did in our wood-fired oven, uh, which I've sliced. You can see that this is still just enough to let me get away with a little bit of pink, but not too much. That's how I like it. So, got the meat, I've got my tuna sauce, amazing. A Little bit of baby spinach, a little bit of salt to season the beef. I'm not making a full on pizza. I'm just making a little focaccina, right? So I don't want it to be all about the pizza. I want it to be about the meat and the beautiful sauce, okay? So, I've stretched that out simply like I do, playing the piano like this. It's very simple. I've got it to the size that I want. I take away any excess flour. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of flour on the peel, okay, which I'm going to need in a second. Remember, this is not flour as you know it, it's rice flour. And all I'm going to do is shake off the excess and get rid of it, but this is gluten free. Again, the importance of that is that we slow ferment our dough for over a three day period. We break it down. We really don't want to introduce normal wheat flour back into it, which has plenty of gluten. We don't need that and plenty of starches. This is what we need to keep that tummy uh, bloating away and that perfect digestion. What are we going to do now? Very simple. A little bit of baby spinach, that'll form the first layer. There's not too much to this, very simple. It's all about the meat in this case. So we make sure we put the meat. This is a dish that we're probably going to serve in our new restaurant. And um, San Rocco sourdough coming soon. liberal dollops of what I love. What do you think, Giannis? Is, that, is this possibly something could appeal to you? Definitely. I've already tasted it, so I know it's good. <laughs> okay. No cheese. Nothing else. It's all we need. We're going to pop this in the oven. Ta -da. If I touch it with my bare hands, I'll get burned. It's very hot. just a little bit we'll be right back and we're back oh, oh, just in time Giannis yes now if you ever thought you could have an Italian meat pie and tuna mornay combination because I used to love tuna mornay back in the day didn't like apricot chicken in the 80s but Love tuna mornay. What about you, Giannis? Did your mum ever make tuna Mum made tuna mornay, like, religiously, at least once a week. It's good stuff. When I was a kid. And I loved it. Alright, black pepper. Just a little bit of seasoning, because the meat, uh, when we roasted it, we don't season it. We just go natural, so that'll take it up. A little bit of oregano. Any fresh herb you like. Well, this is dry herb, but any herb you like. Gives it a lift. We don't need any olive oil on this, because mayo's got plenty of oil for Africa. We put it on the grid so that we can get our extra vapors going. I'm thinking crunchification accomplished, right? So all I need is the classic cut, which we do with our scissors. Are we ready for this? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can hear that crunch. Perfect. Now, I would normally ask if you want a slice, but you always say yes, so why ask? Let's make sure you cut I've, one for yourself. I've, I've lost half of the toppings. What? Let's put them back on. Yes. Okay, Giannis, I'll put that aside because I don't want to, you know, give you something that's not up to the Giannis standard. And we'll cut you another slice. How's that? Definitely.
and I'll be careful because it's so hot that stuff slides around, which is why we don't cut stuff when it comes straight out of the oven. So I'm going to give that to you over there, Yanis. Thank you. But you don't want to burn your mouth. I'm going to cut a little slither for me. Can't help it. Look at that beautiful, beautiful cook. The alveoli, the way that dough is fermented. It's just not flavor, it's digestibility. It's proof that we've done the right thing by everybody. And I really need some help with this one. I can't wait to get it in my mouth, people. Buon appetito. It's hot. I've got as, not just a big mouth, but an asbestos mouth. It's delicious. I've got no words. It's delicious. Tuna, the new chicken on pizza. It's the only thing Italians do. Tuna on pizza. Amazing. Tuna, beef, baby spinach. Mm. See you soon.